Good morning, I'm Janelle Burrell with your morning digital news brief for this Friday, December 13th. Philadelphia police are looking for the driver involved in a deadly hit and run in Somerton. The 82 year old victim was hit while crossing Bustleton Avenue at Hendricks Street around 6 o'clock last night. Police say the striking vehicle may have been a black Jeep. Right now, investigators are canvassing nearby businesses for, for surveillance video of the accident. An overnight fire tore through a home in Bristol, Bucks County. Investigators say this fire on Green Lane in Bristol has been ruled as arson. Authorities say the home was vacant. One firefighter has been treated for minor injuries. So far, no arrests. And the House Judiciary Committee is set to vote on articles of impeachment against President Trump this morning. Democrats and Republicans clashed for more than 14 hours yesterday. Republicans tried to change or throw out the articles, but Democrats had the votes to block their attempts. And now let's get a check of our forecast. Here's meteorologist Matt Peterson. Matt. Yeah, hey there, Janelle. Going to be a day today where we see temperatures that are a little bit above normal, but we watch for scattered rain showers to take over at times later this afternoon, and then that precipitation will carry itself into the weekend. Temperatures today, like I said, though, going to be a little bit above normal. We were sunny but very cold to yesterday. We'll have the cloud cover, the spotty showers, but a high of 50 degrees later this afternoon. Even through the overnight tonight, temperatures should generally hold steady right around that 50 mark as that rain becomes more widespread. We could even have some pockets of heavy downpours mixed in with those showers through the overnight tonight. Over the weekend, we'll start our Saturday morning out with, again, areas of some heavier rainfall with then scattered showers throughout our Saturday afternoon and into the evening hours as well. Cold enough air could work its way down into areas like the Poconos that a couple snowflakes could be seen maybe on Saturday night into early Sunday morning. But the good news for us is on Sunday afternoon, we should start to clear things out. What does this all mean for the Army Navy game? Well, 59 degrees for our temperature at kickoff, but rain showers will be out there. Keep the rain gear handy, even though it will be mild. Drying out a little bit on Sunday real quickly at 47, and then another system early next week, Janelle, brings a chance for some wintry mix maybe on Monday. All right, Matt, thank you very much. And remember, you can always get Matt's most up-to-date forecast and the latest stories right here on cbsphilly.com. That's the latest for the Morning Digital Brief. I'm Janelle Burrell. Hope you have a great day.